So uh, we're here at AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling's Forbidden Door. Did you buy your tickets before the card was announced or after? Before. Before? We, awesome. we had tickets initially. He actually, we had uh, seats in the lower bowl and then he upgraded a couple weeks ago for seats. Awesome, awesome. And are you guys happy with the final result of what we're going to see tonight? Oh my god, yeah. Best thing you can do with all the injuries. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, did you guys buy your tickets before or after the, uh, the card was announced? Uh, before. Reset. Okay. And are you happy with the uh, results of the card? Yeah. tickets before or after the card was announced? Before, awesome. And are you happy with what we're going to see tonight? Yeah. Hell Please yeah. uh, buy your tickets before or after the card was announced? Uh, before. Before? Yeah. And are you guys happy with the uh, card we're getting tonight? Yeah. Absolutely. Really Hell yeah. Did you buy your tickets before or after the card was announced? Uh, before. I bought before? them uh, a, uh, with the preset. Plus, plus three, I bought them. Awesome. The and are you guys happy with the card we're going to see tonight? Yeah. I'm super excited. It's way above my expectations. Hell yeah, me too. Hell yeah, man. What's up, guys? We're here at the AEW New Japan Pro Wrestling Forbidden Door event. Found myself a couple of masked wrestlers here. Uh, did you guys buy your tickets before or after the card was announced? Uh, before pre-sale, bought multiple ones. Kept on getting better ones. Excellent. Didn't stop till we got to the floor. Perfect. And are you guys happy with the card we're going to see tonight? Yeah, it's ever-changing, but absolutely. Hell yeah. Seeing some names that we're never going to see anywhere else. First time ever on uh, Forbidden Door. We're excited. Awesome. Forbidden Door event. Uh, got a question for you guys. Did you guys order your tickets before or after the card was announced? Before. Before? Way yeah. before. Way before. Way before. Excellent. Way before. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. And are you guys happy with what we're going to see tonight? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's going to be a stack card. It's called the buy-in. All the submitted things. It's going to be awesome. Like, awesome. Oh, too, so. Your first event. Oh, hell yeah. Period, so it, hell could, yeah. You couldn't have picked a better one, man. This is my first AEW uh, pay-per-view event. Oh, we sweet. were here last summer at the United Center when CM Punk made his official oh, AEW debut at so, the first day. So jealous, so jealous. That is also the day of me and my girlfriend's um, anniversary, so it'll be a year. Congratulations on that. Right. So we found Shining Polaris here at the Forbidden yeah, Door. What's up? What's going on? I traveled long and far off of I-90 to get here. All right. <laughs> we came from Philadelphia, so we know you're paying on that one. Yeah. So I know you got your tickets before the uh, card was announced, right? Yes, of course. And of course you're happy with what we're going to see tonight. Yeah, I, I'm super excited. Unfortunately, with all the accidents, what can you do? But the card is still fire, so I'm, I'm excited. Absolutely, I agree. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Broken Tables Podcast. I am your host, Jeffrey Vegas. Um, back at home, finally, after this super long drive to and from Chicago. Um, sorry I didn't get a lot of footage in here, you guys. Uh, for some reason, the camera's uh, like anti-shake feature did not work at all. But, you know, we got what we could out there. I got some really cool uh, people on camera there. Um this was an absolute blast. Uh, me and me and Jenna had probably one of the funnest weekends we've ever had. Um, besides the tremendous pain that my body is in from, for, from driving 13 hours one way and then 13 hours the other way. Uh, besides that, th this, this was absolutely awesome. Um, this may have been my favorite weekend uh, of all time, possibly. Um, this was our first pay-per-view event. Uh, this was Purple's, uh, I'm sorry, Purple, that's her, that's her name over on Twitch. Uh, this was Jenna's, um, first pay-per-view event also. Uh, we wound up buying a chair from the Forbidden Door. Uh, we got this John Moxley versus Tanahashi poster. It is signed by both of them on there. Uh, Moxley signed it and Tanahashi signed it, but before we bought it, you know what I mean? Um, this was absolutely incredible. Uh, thank you to the city of Chicago for hosting this event and, you know, pride, the pride parade was going on at the same time. Um, just cool people everywhere. Uh, this was one of my favorite weekends that I have ever had. I'm going to remember this for a long time, uh, being my first pay-per-view event and first time in Chicago, uh, as an adult, I was there as a little kid, so I don't even remember. Um, 
it's not as bad as it seems like it would be on television, you know. Um, there were some places that seemed a little sketchy, but for the most part, everywhere that I went, um, I felt safe. Everything was great, man. I actually, I love the city of Chicago now. Uh, we're planning on going back possibly for All Out. If uh, you guys didn't notice, they announced All Out September 4th um, in Chicago, so that should be a great show as well. We're planning on going back to that, but... I just can't say it enough how fun of an experience this w this was. Um, Tony Khan, you put on an absolutely incredible show dealing with all these injuries with, I mean, some of our top stars are not here for this incredible show. Kenny Omega, Brian Danielson, um, CM Punk. I mean, without our top three guys, we still put on one of the best pay-per-view shows that I have seen in a long time. Um, Claudio Castagnoli is all elite. Um, that was absolutely incredible. The roof blew off that building when he showed up. Absolutely love his graphic with the uh, Swiss flag. His t-shirt is freaking awesome. The new Blackpool Combat Club t-shirt with his Swiss cross on it. Oh, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna have to pick that up, but I didn't want to leave, man. I didn't want to leave Chicago. I wanted to go, uh, drive down. Oh, I guess I did want to leave Chicago, but I wanted to drive over to Detroit so we could go see blood and guts. But unfortunately work will not permit that. So it is what it is. Um, thank you to all of you guys who did those interviews with me. I'm pretty sure I got everybody in there. Um, if anybody, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button. We really, really thank you guys. We got a lot of subscribers over the weekend while I was there. I was passing out those business cards like candy. So thank you everybody who hit that subscribe button. There was quite a few of you guys. Thank you very much to Shining Polaris herself, uh, the t famous Twitter Young Bucks cosplayer. She is incredible. Um, really, really nice to meet her in person. Finally, I've uh, spoken to her on Twitter quite a few times. It was very, very awesome to finally get to see her in person in her awesome Young Bucks gear. That jacket was on point. Another 10 out of 10. So thank you very much to her. And uh, again, thank you everybody who subscribed uh, while we were down there filming. And uh, you guys have a great night. I'm going to bed. Peace. <laughs>